neighbors. Welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. My name is Jerry Ellen. Uh, every week I do one baking video at least a week and today I'm making some muffins. It's a banana muffin maybe that you never made before so I thought I'd bring it here in case you wanted to give it a try. It's uh, got grain crackers in it. Maybe you tried it. You gotta let me know when you watch me make this if you have. Don't mind a little bit of how to use a wet cloth and wipe myself off, try to make myself a bit presentable at least. But anyway, let's get at this. Pitter patter, let's get at her. I have so many recipes, I'm telling you, it's, it, it's, I have a lot. On this channel, I have hundreds of recipes and everything, every one of them is different from the last. And uh, some videos have more than one recipe in it. Anyway, I have three quarters of a cup of all purpose flour. I'm gonna add some dry ingredients to this, okay? Uh, even though brown sugar is considered, a, uh, or sugar is considered a wet, it's going in with the dry in this recipe, okay? That's a, a half a cup of lightly packed brown sugar. You can use light or dark brown sugar, whatever your preference is. That's what, that's what you use, okay? It's soft. My hubby bought me a clay disc that I keep in with my brown sugar. Oh my goodness. I'm never gonna have hard brown sugar again, thanks to my hubby. A teaspoon of baking powder. And a teaspoon, a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, just gonna incorporate that through really well. So we have an even rise on all our muffins. Okay, just gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay. One cup of graham cracker crumbs, or you can use, if you don't have where you're at uh, graham cracker crumbs, you can use digestive biscuits. That looks really good to me, that's all my dry. Three fourths of a cup of mashed up bananas, one egg, and a half a cup of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, canola oil, a neutral oil. Let's take this back. put this in with my dry ingredients now. The grain crackers have a honey flavor in it and it's quite nice. I make a banana chocolate chip out of the same uh, recipe I have on the channel of my banana bread. That's on the channel. I sometimes use that recipe for banana muffins as well. I'll try to remember to link it, in case you want to check it out. I have uh, 12 muffin liners there, and I'm going to fill them th two thirds of the way using my handy dandy ice cream scoop. I greased my muffin liners so that they peel off of the muffin easily for me. These recipes are so fast and easy. I don't, I don't mind making muffins for the game because uh, no time at all. You take out a couple of ingredients, you measure them out, you mix them in a bowl, and pop them in the oven. A little bit more than that one. Have to have to spoon some around different spots here. These aren't huge muffins. These are a nice little treat with the coffee. You're running out the door. You're on the go. Don't stop at a coffee shop. Have these things made in your freezer. Take a few out at a time.
Oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or about 190 degrees Celsius. They look about even. Let's pop them in the oven. They smell nice. They are smelling nice. There you go. 20 minutes. You can do the toothpick test. Or you can feel them. They feel kind of kind of spongy. Or you can insert a toothpick in the center. If it comes out clean, she's a done. Nice warm muffin for my hubby with his coffee today. See, they're not they're not they're not huge. They just come up to the top of your muffin cup. But they're a nice little snack with your tea or coffee. Look at that. You want a bite? Here you go. I want to have a bite. You know what I'm going to say? They're delicious. So I like the... This is, I just used the great value kind, honey graham cracker crumbs. I like them, got a nice, nice flavor to it. But if you, like I say, if you don't have graham cracker crumbs, use digestive biscuits. Anyway, peace, love, God bless. Please come back again. Bye.